Dromana, or Dromac, as it is pronounced locally, is an Iron Age promontory fort located on the coast between Loch Shinny and Rush. The cliffs at Loch Shinny will be familiar to anyone who studied geography in school, as they are one of the best examples of sedimentary rocks found in Ireland and Britain. A promontory fort is a fortified coastal headland, and Dromana is one of the largest and most impressive monuments of its type in Ireland. The headland has been designated a national monument since 1977. The Iron Age extends from approximately 400 BC to 400 AD. Tree ring evidence suggests that a series of volcanic eruptions from Italy to Iceland disrupted weather patterns during this period. The cumulative effect of uninterrupted rainfall, waterlogged lands, crop failure and livestock loss was a resource hungry society. This is an age of conflict captured in the myths and legends of Cúchulain, Queen Maeve and the stories of warriors and warfare. During the Iron Age, the Irish Sea was in effect a routeway that allowed contact and trade between communities on both sides. Dramana has extensive views of the surrounding land and sea. To the north is Loch Shinny Harbour overlooked by the hill of Pope's Hall and the islands of Skerry with the Mourne Mountains as a backdrop on a clear day. There are unimpaired views of the sea lanes of the Irish Sea, punctuated by Rockabill Lighthouse, and towards the southeast is Lamb Bay Island. There are clear views along the coastline to Rush, with the backdrop of the Dublin and Wicklow Mountains. On the landward side, across the fields westwards, is the tree line of the medieval manor of Rush at Canure. Dramana is the largest of four coastal forts in Fingal. Across the sea on Lambay Island are the Garden Fort and Scotch Point, with Dungriffin Fort at Hoth. Dramana consists of a headland of approximately 46 acres defended by a series of ramparts, that is, a series of closely spaced banks and ditches over 350 metres long. A number of gaps occur along the ramparts, one or more of which may represent an original entrance. Although the banks were up to two metres in height, it is thought that these ramparts may have been more about status than defence, as Dramana functioned as a major trading centre. Part of the medieval manor of Rush, Dramana later became famous for its grasslands and ability to fatten cattle. The site is of considerable importance for birds, as it is known to have supported kestrels, short-eared owls and buzzards. In the 19th century, Dramana Martello Tower was built on the promontory fort, for the defence against possible Napoleonic invasion. The Martello Towers were manned by the Royal Artillery Regiment and had a detachment of up to 15 men with an 18 or 24 pounder iron cannon, which required at least nine men to fire. By 1826, Dramana Tower was occupied by the Preventative Water Guard as part of their anti-smuggling operations. The first season of the community excavation project was carried out on the Martello Road near to the tower. Evidence for the occupants of the tower was recovered, including a belt brace of the Royal Downshires, a button of the Royal Artillery and a shako, that is the decorated plate on the high crowned military hats. A complete clay pipe bowl was decorated with the Masonic symbols of the cross, square and compass, indicating at least one member of the garrison at Dramana was a Freemason. Season two of excavation took place at the other end of the Martello Road near the prehistoric ramparts. Beneath the Martello Road, both excavations revealed Iron Age activity, including human burials, activity for settlement, textile manufacture and trade, all dating to the first of the third centuries AD. Sherds of Dressel 20 pottery were recovered. These amphorae were used for the transportation of olive oil, which was produced in the Roman province of Bethia in southern Spain. An unusual stone find was a rudimentary figure of a bird. Carved from soft stone, it appears unfinished, and there were shallow holes bored into the back and base of the figure, perhaps indicating it was to be mounted or part of a mould from a metal version. Dramana acted as a manufacturing, trading and distribution point between the west coast of Wales and England and the tribes of Spain and Gaul. The promontory holds strategic significance on the maritime trade routes and may even have been an entry point to an inland route across Fingal to the seat of Irish kingship at Tara County Meath. It is a nationally important Iron Age site and is internationally important in terms of Ireland's relations with the Roman world.